It's Bible time. <gasps> it's Bible time. It's Bible time. It's, it's Bible, Bible time. time. <gasps> it's Bible time with Aunt JJ. It's, it's Bible time with Aunt JJ. It's Bible time with Aunt JJ. That's me. Get your Bible if you have one, because it's time to study the Bible together. The Bible is God's Word. God helps men write it so we can know for sure that everything in it is completely true. We've been reading about how Judah was taken into captivity by Babylon, but God promised that one day he would bring them back home to Israel. When Persia took over Babylon and Cyrus was king, King Cyrus invited the Israelites to go home and rebuild the temple. He even had the people give the Israelites offerings and gifts. What do you think happened next? Do you think everyone went back to Israel and they rebuilt the temple right away? I summarized some of what happened with an emoji summary. What do you think the emojis represent? What do you think happened? Hmm. There are some different objects and some different emotions. There are a couple people. What do you think happened? Hmm. Decide what you think the emojis mean. We will read the passage and see if you are correct. I'm going to read from Ezra chapters 4 and 5. Ezra is in the Old Testament and comes before Nehemiah. Ezra and Nehemiah used to be one big book, but long ago it was separated into the books we have in our Bibles. Together, they record how God brought his people back to Jerusalem and rebuilt the city, the temple, and the wall. Ezra and Nehemiah are books of history. They record true things that really happened with real people. While I read my own paraphrase of some of the verses, listen for what the Israelites did in Jerusalem. Stand up if you hear them working on the temple. Sit down if they are not working on the temple. The people who had returned from Babylon were building a temple to the Lord God of Israel. The enemies of Judah and Benjamin heard about it. The enemies came to Zerubbabel and the leaders. The enemies said, Let us help you. We are just like you. We also seek your God. We've been offering sacrifices to him ever since the time of Er Shahadan. He was the king of Assyria. He brought us here. But Zerubbabel, Jeshua, and the rest of the leaders of Israel said to them, You cannot help us build the temple of our God. We will build it by ourselves. We will do it to honor the Lord God of Israel. King Cyrus, the king of Persia, commanded us to build it. Then the people of the land discouraged the people of Judah and frightened them from building. They paid some people to frustrate their plans. During that time when Artaxerxes was king of Persia, men who had been moved from Babylon to Samaria and other places beyond the Euphrates River wrote to King Artaxerxes. This is a copy of the letter they sent to him. We want you to know about the people who left you and have come up to us. They are rebuilding the rebellious and evil city. They are finishing the walls and repairing the foundations. The king replied with the letter that said, now give orders that these men stop their work and that the city not be rebuilt until I give the order to rebuild it. And so the work on the temple of God in Jerusalem came to a stop. No more work was done on it until the second year that Darius was king of Persia. The prophets Haggai and Zechariah prophesied to the Jews in Judah and Jerusalem. They spoke to them in the name of the God of Israel who was over them. Then Zerubbabel and Jeshua began to rebuild the temple of God in Jerusalem. The prophets of God were with them. They were helping them. Great job listening for what happened. Everyone can sit down now. Let's look at the emoji summary again and see if you correctly guessed what the emojis mean. If you didn't guess it correctly before, can you figure it out now? Can you use the emojis to summarize what happened? The Israelites were building the temple. Enemies discouraged them and frightened them. The enemies wrote a letter to a king telling him about what the Israelites were doing. The king wrote back that the Israelites' work must stop. But after Haggai and Zechariah told the people messages from God, the people were encouraged and started working on the temple again. Although none of those emojis look like the real things, the pictures can help you remember what happened. God had been faithful and good to the Israelites. He took them back to their land, just as he promised he would. But then their work was hard. People were against the Israelites, and a king even ordered them to stop their work. The people were discouraged. God sent Haggai and Zechariah with messages that encouraged them to start working again. Now it's time for Eyes on Him, the part of our lesson when we focus on what the scriptures say about God. When you study the Bible, look for what the scripture reveals or shows about God. Then think about how that knowledge of God should impact, change, matter to your life. 
I see that the Lord is called the Lord God of Israel. Lord, with the smaller capital O-R-D, stands for Yahweh and is built on the word for I am. God told the special name to Moses, and it is a special name for God. When you read Lord written like that, you can think about how God is who He says He is, and He never changes. He is the same promise-keeping God that He has always been. He was faithful to the Israelites and took them back to their land. We can still count on Him to be faithful today. Lord God of Israel also points out that God is sovereign. He is the supreme ruler of the universe. He has all control over all things for all time. He has all power and authority to do as He pleases. As the Lord God of Israel, He has a special relationship with the people of Israel. We can learn a lot about God through how He cares for Israel. I see that God encourages His people. They faced real problems. People were against them and even got a king to order them to stop their work. Although nothing can stop God's plans, sometimes God's people get discouraged. God used Haggai and Zechariah to encourage the people. They had hope for the future because the Lord God of Israel was their God. What else does this passage show you about God? How should you live differently because of who God is? And now it's time for the Wheel of Wonder! The time in our lesson when we spin the wheel and wonder. What will our Wheel of Wonder question be today? It landed on blue. Our Wheel of Wonder question for today is, does God have any encouragement for me? Sweet friend, He does. Following God can be hard, really hard. People and things can come against us. There is pain and suffering, and we can get discouraged. God provided encouragement for the Israelites, and He provides encouragement for us. Did you hear how God encouraged His people when they stopped building the temple? God had prophets tell His messages and help the people work. Haggai and Zechariah encouraged the people with God's Word. Thankfully, we have the Bible, so we can read God's Word anytime. When we are discouraged, we can be encouraged through God's Word. I'm going to read a few verses that are encouraging to me. As I read them, may God encourage us to keep on following Him, even when it is hard. And remember, I, Jesus, am with you always to the end of the age. And my God will supply your every need according to His glorious riches in Christ Jesus. God is our strong refuge. He is truly our helper in times of trouble. If God is for us, who can be against us? I repeat, be strong and brave. Don't be afraid and don't panic, for I, the Lord your God, am with you in all you do. Don't be afraid, for I am with you. Don't be frightened, for I am your God. I strengthen you. Yes, I help you. Yes, I uphold you with my victorious right hand. Sweet friend, may the truth of God's word encourage you. And if you are a Christian, remember that you are not alone. There are people all over the world who are also trying to follow God. Even better, the Lord God is always with you. He will strengthen you. You can do whatever work He has for you because you are in Christ Jesus and nothing is impossible with God. Being in God's will, doing what God wants you to do, does not mean things will always be easy. Following God can be hard. Sometimes it might get so hard you want to give up on what you are doing. But God can encourage you as He encouraged the Israelites when they were discouraged and stopped building the temple. Ask God to help you and read Bible verses that encourage you. You can count on the Lord. He is always faithful. Let's pray. Holy Father, please encourage us and give us the strength we need to follow you, even when it is hard. Please help us to remember what your word teaches us about you. We praise you for who you are and for your faithfulness. We can always count on you. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Well, sweet friends, I love studying God's word with you today. There's no better time than Bible time, and I hope you will join me next time for Bible time with Aunt JJ. Like this video, subscribe to this channel, and go to BibleTimeWithAuntJJ.com for free activities that go along with today's Bible study. It's Bible Time with Aunt JJ!